Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. First up, I want to say, hopefully everybody that's watching today, hopefully you guys are doing pretty good. Honestly, this past month has been very hectic. Um, you know, life is so unexpected. Like, so much can happen. This past month has taught me a lot. Um, it's taught me that life is very unexpected. Like, so much can happen in like a small time frame, like literally in a week, that you're just not, you're not ready for. But you know, every time I get sad or I'm feeling down in the blues, I come out here to my to the to the balcony and I just look to the city because Miami is still such a beautiful, beautiful city. This is pretty much it. Like everything behind me, this is pretty much like Miami. Like the, if you look up Miami and see the pictures and videos of the city, this is it. Literally, this one little this one little thing. But I still love the city. I love Miami. You know, it's brought a lot of joy to me um, and a lot of pain. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna get into that later. <sighs> now, y'all, I did say before that this past month has been very, very crazy. It's gonna be a lot to get into, but before we do, guys, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. It's been a long ass journey. I think I've been making YouTube videos for at least a year, maybe two now. Um, so we're about to finally hit this 1,000 mark, and it's gonna feel so good. I might throw like a little party or something or make a video. I don't know yet. Let's get into the video. Man, all right, let's do this. This right here, not sponsored, but this juice right here, bro, the Arizona Iced Tea Fruit Punch, shit is fucking delicious. Ah, it's good. All right, so I'm gonna get into a lot of things in this video, from homelessness to moving to seclusion. So much in this video because it's been a very hard month, and a lot of you, you need to watch this video because you guys want to do some drastic in your life. You want to do a, you want to do a big change. This video is gonna go through every single emotion that you're gonna go through. What have I been going through? <sighs> Moving to Miami, I knew it was not gonna be easy, um, but I also didn't think it was gonna be this hard. A lot of you guys watch videos saying you need to quit your nine to five, you need to start your own online business, do this crypto, blah 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 blah. blah. Now don't get me wrong, I did move to Miami at 20 years old by myself. Um, so you probably think I'm a hypocrite, but I understood what the fuck I was doing. I knew it was not gonna be easy. Before I made this dress, drastic move to Miami, people have been telling me for years that my videos should be getting more views. I looked at myself myself and thought, yeah, my videos are really good. I think I can actually do this YouTube thing for real, for real. If I really take it to the next level, move to a bigger city, find connection, find people that's trying to do it. My, like, all these things went through my head before I just moved to Miami. So that's number one. Number two, a lot of y'all want the glitz and glam without putting in the work. Y'all think everything should be handed to you. It's kind of like sad to me. A lot of guys come to me and say, man, so I want to do this and this and this and this and this. And I say, okay, um, what have you done? Like, show me some work. Show me something. Like, have you made a video? Have you wrote a script? Have you done anything? Well, no, man, but um, I want to do it. What? So I want to get those two things out of the way before I started this video because a lot of you guys after watching this probably might call me a hypocrite. Like, Ty, you did it. Why can't I? Yada, 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 yada. <sighs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, Miami's been very, very hard. Um, I've gone through ups and downs, but mostly d downs. It's been constant stress, no fun, no happiness, just straight downhills. And that's the realization that a lot of you guys need because you probably think a move to Miami is gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna move to Miami, I'm gonna get rich, and then I'm gonna get this girl, and then I'm gonna get these guy friends, and we're gonna have a great time. Like, yippee, Miami, hey. No. That is not how reality works. If you're anybody human that, does, that doesn't have cloud or you're not somebody or something, when you come to Miami by yourself or with a roommate or whatever, when you first get here, it's gonna be very fucking tough because if you're coming from like a small town or something, Miami is gonna hit you like a, like a train, bro. Miami is nothing like your small town. Miami is hustling and bustling. Nobody cares about you. Women are materialistic. Money's everywhere. If you don't have money, it's gonna be very hard for you to because Miami's a party city, so if you don't have any money, you can't really party. It's gonna be very hard on you. You're gonna gonna feel like you're left out of a lot of things. I do every single day. That's reality. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew that coming into this. A lot of you guys probably like said don't think like that. You probably think is in a idealistic world, but I'm very realistic when I do things. I do them all thought out. I don't just come up with things on the whim. I said Moon Miami for me was a two to three year process. It wasn't just, let's go to Miami. No, it was a three year process. Now, if you've been keeping up with my channel, you would know that I did go homeless for a couple days and I'm kind of on the verge of going homeless again. I, want, I do want to say that I do have a place, an apartment coming, but I just have to wait till they furnish, not furnish it, till they clean it so I can actually move in. So I've been waiting for a week now or two weeks 
they're trying to move in. So yes, I have been homeless um, a couple times. Um, I've been sleeping in my car. For a lot of you guys, you're probably not ready for that. Going, home, going homeless is not fun, not gonna lie to you. Sleeping in a car and then having to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to work, to make money, because Miami is not cheap, it's not fun, you know? It's not fun at all, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been fun, but you know, I did go to the beach, did meet some OnlyFans girls. I might make a story time on that. That was kind of interesting. If you want me to do it, let me know, I'll do it. But um, yeah, Miami was not fun for this past couple, this past month. It was just, it's very, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in, you know? Now getting a job, it took me almost a month to get a job. If you're coming to Miami, make sure you can get a job before ahead of time. Um, I will say this now, because I did not know this before I moved out here. A lot of jobs are not open. Like you would, if you go on like um, Indeed or something, it would say hiring, a, you know, now, but then you apply and you get the job. If you go to the interview, you would see that the place is not even open. Like it's, they're, they're about to open in like a month or two, but you need a job now. So like, make sure the job is actually open. So what I do is, well, what I did is when I got accepted for an interview, I would go onto Google Maps or go onto the website and look up the place that I'm finna go into, the, you know, the uh, address and stuff, and see if they're actually open, customers can come in, all this. So make sure, this is come from Kingsa, that you have a job that's actually open before you move here. With that, yeah, honestly with that, you guys will be doing 10 times better than me. This is way better than me because I had to go almost a month without a job, getting Airbnbs, that shit is not cheap, $1,000 a week, you know, after, a couple, after some time, you will go broke, so. You know, I just had to end up homeless. All right, man, for this next part, I want to come outside because I just love the city aesthetic. I do realize that the city can be very loud. Like, there's planes constantly flying, generator or something's down there, I don't know. So hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, then I've ruined my own video. Who, the, who knows? So another problem I had to deal with coming to Miami was friends. Um, I did have a group of friends back in my hometown. We were planning on moving out together, but when it came down to it, to actually make the move, and I get it, you know, it can be very scary to leave everybody behind, you know, your, fr your friends, your family, all of that. So I understood, why, I kind of understand why they did it, why they didn't want to come with me, but my friends in the end did not want to come. Um, I only had one friend that did decide to come because, you know, he wants to be a singer and he truly believes in himself. So that's a good thing. Um, so I don't know if it's a combination of they didn't believe themselves or they were scared of like, leaving everything behind or starting over. I don't know what it is. But um, for me, I just, I can't let anybody else hold me back. I cannot do that. So I had to come here with only one friend um, to a major city, but on our own. And we have not been able to make any other friends. We've only been here for a month, so I mean, I'm not saying that we're never gonna make friends, but being alone is not fun, bro. Imagine your darkest time or your, your hardest time in your life. Now imagine going through that alone. But like, fuck, it's loud as a bitch, oh my God. It's loud as hell, I can't even talk. Can I talk, people? People cannot fucking talk. Why are you so damn loud? That's kind of what I'm going through right now. Like, I'm going homeless. I couldn't get a job. I'm broke. I have no friends. I have no family. And I'm doing all of that with, well, I granted, one friend, but pretty much we're on our own here. We have no friends to go to. We have no family to talk to. They're like 16 hours away. It's like we're here alone, bro. It's fucking, it, it, it really does suck. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna happen to everybody. Maybe you might get here and who knows? You might get a group of friends your first day. Um, you know, honestly, I did become very close with my manager. He found out that we were homeless. Um, so he was very generous to let us stay with him. I mean, most people would not do that. Most people will find something out like that and just say, hope it gets better. Hope you do good. Hope, I don't know. But you know, he did invite us to dinner one time and we drink wine, we play Uno. We had a good time. So for him, I'm not gonna say his name just for privacy reasons, but for him, if I ever do, or whenever I do make money and all these things become successful, I'm gonna make sure he's all right because he did not have to do that. Most guys, like I said, most men especially would not care about you. Like if they find out you're homeless, they don't, they wouldn't give a fuck. Like, so for him to actually take us in and really, really try every day he came to us, yo, are you guys good? I'm glad he's my girl again. I'm make sure like, he really tried to make sure that we were okay. He really tried to, he fed, he, bro, he even made us a meal. Like he cooked a home cooked, full course meal, salad, spaghetti, meatballs, fucking plate, gave us wine. Like he really went above and beyond for us. So for him, I want to say thank you. If you ever watch this video, um, he didn't have to do that at all. Now, Miami hasn't all been terrible. You know, I have had some fun. Like I said, I did go to the beach and met some OnlyFans girls. That was fun. It was kind of degenerate, but it was fun, you know? So it wasn't all downsides, you know, it was, 
some little elements of fun. But I made this video to say, if you ever decided to do something major or something big in your life, realize that it's not gonna all be happiness and you know, everything goes your way. Like, I came to Miami knowing for a fact that I was gonna have to go probably go through something like this. And pretty much everybody successful did. Like if you look up anybody famous, they've probably gone homeless, they've went broke. Something happened to them. Nothing went their way completely. Something, something bad eventually had to happen to them. So I'm kind of going through those, that, that process now, I'm just putting it on camera. So uh, just realize that you wanna do something major like move to Miami or move to a major city or starting your own business, it's anything major in your life, realize that it's not gonna always be good. It's gonna be downsides, it's everything. Um, I realized coming to Miami, the harsh reality of life, life is not fair at all, at all. Life is, no one gives a fuck about you. Um, so hopefully you don't have to realize that too hard yourself, but if you do, I'm here for you. Any support you need, I'm here. Love you guys so much, see you in the next one. I'm out, man, peace.